Hey, do you live in Portland, Oregon? And are you even thinking about buying a home or know somebody who is? Then this video and this YouTube channel is perfect for you. Hey, I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland with John L. Scott Real Estate coming to you with another market update. And being that it is the middle of July, let's call this our mid-year check-in for 2018. Where's the real estate market at in Portland in 2018 mid-year? Best way to show that to you is talking about months inventory, our inventory expressed in months. If all the homes uh, that were coming on the market suddenly stopped today and we're stuck with just the existing inventory, how long would it take that inventory to sell off? That is our month's inventory. And here we can see 2016, 2017 numbers and it clearly follows a trend. At the start of the last two years, it's been sitting right around 1.6 to 1.8 months inventory. And then as we move into March, not a whole lot of new homes come in on the market and the buyers are buying them off and so our month's inventory very naturally drops during that time. And then through the spring, a whole lot of new homes come in on the market and buyers are buying and so it climbs a little bit but then it really jumps when the buyers drop off and we have more homes coming on late in the spring, they're hanging around longer and they don't start to drop again until buyers start buying again in September, October, November. And so that's how the normal flow goes. So what's happening in 2018? Here we are right there. We started off with more inventory this year or months inventory, our rate of sales higher than it was in the last two years up above two. And it dropped, followed the trend that it was going to drop into March, but then it climbs even more through the spring months. A lot more homes coming on the market and fewer buyers buying them, we're sitting up higher. And so we have to expect we're probably going to peak even higher in September, October than we have the last couple of years. In some ways that is good news for buyers because it does mean that there is more inventory out there for you to choose from. So if you're a buyer, things are looking a little bit better. Remember there's seller's markets and there's buyer's markets. When it's a seller's market, whew, not a lot of inventory, tough time for buyers, it keeps drying price up. And anything below five months of inventory is going to be into a seller's market and this scale is only showing one to four months inventory so everything in here is a seller's market and we're still deep within that seller's market to take a little bit deeper dive into the numbers let's look at new new listings in portland 2017 versus 2018 year to date at this point last year we had 21,505 new listings on the market and that is up slightly this year we're up um Oh, about 500 new homes on the market in 2018. Small change, but a change. More people are selling homes. And then how many sales are we actually closing year to date? We're down. We're down about 320 closed sales. So that's what's showing that rise in months inventory. But because we're still strongly in a seller's market, average home sales price is increasing year over date. Um, our year to date for 2017, it was 427,000 was the average home sales price in the Portland metro area. And then for 2018, that average home sales price grew to 453,400. And so home prices are continuing to climb. The one thing that hasn't changed really interestingly is average days on market. It was 48 days on market between the time it was listed to the time that a home uh, accepted an offer and went pending. That's the average for the Portland metro area and it is still 48 days. And so homes are still selling and you know, getting listed and getting an offer at the same rate they were last year because that really comes down to at what price point do you list the home? If you're pushing the market and you're listing that price high, higher than what it would be considered a fair market value for that house or ultimately it ends up being, it's gonna sit on the market longer. But if you price that house well, you're gonna get that offer under the average wait time. So that list price has a big factor in the number of days that it spends on market. I love talking to you about these numbers in these videos, guys, but I would love to talk to you about them in person. So if you ever want to sit down, chat, I'll buy you a cup of coffee and we'll talk about the Portland real estate market, call me or send me an email anytime. Call me at 503-233-4592 or shoot me an email at alexroy at johnlscott.com and I would love to chat with you about it. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel or any of my videos on Facebook. Hey guys, I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.